Now, you've probably never heard of the French term les majeste. It means offense to royalty. In Thailand, they know what it means all too well. It's a criminal offense that could land you in prison for 15 years. Recently, police arrested a Thai computer programmer for posting pictures and comments on Facebook. They were deemed insulting to Thailand's revered king. In the past few years, the number of people charged with les majeste in Thailand has soared. To explain what's going on, CJ Hinkie joins us via Skype from Bangkok. He's the founder of Freedom Against Censorship Thailand. CJ, thanks for joining us today. Hi there. Hi. Now, we we're wondering if you could tell us a little bit about Thailand's Les Majeste law. Why does a monarchy need this kind of protection? Well, in, in fact, the monarch doesn't uh, need the protection, but the bureaucrats and uh, military in particular want to maintain a close and cozy association with, uh, with the monarchy to protect their positions. Now, the number of cases brought under this law has risen dramatically since the 2006 military coup that drove Thaksin Sinawat from power. Why the recent crackdown? Well, in fact, uh, as of today's date, there are 478 ongoing Les Majeste uh, uh, prosecutions, including people, people in prison. What's interesting is that um, the computer programmer who was arrested a, a few days ago has now been joined by a second uh, Les Majeste prisoner. Uh, we, of course, consider these people to be political prisoners. They're, they're intended to silence the opposition, to make everyone afraid to speak out. And are prosecutions the only weapon they've been using to try to shut down people who've been speaking out against the royal government? Well, there's a lot of self-censorship uh, going on in Thailand, uh, but in fact, uh, the government at the present date blocks more than 600,000 web pages for, for reasons of Les Majeste, uh, online pharmacies, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so they're, they're not just using uh, legal prosecution, they're also using technology to try to shut these down. Yes, ab ab absolutely. And of course, uh, no one is, uh, feels free to report on such issues, and uh, they're simply never discussed in the media here. Now, do you agree with critics who say that the law was used as a weapon against political opponents in the prior administration? Uh, well, absolutely. Uh, but I think that, uh, that, that all Thai governments have uh, shown their true colors in trying to silence their opposition. I don't think this government has shown itself to be any better, even in only a couple of months in office. So even though the new Prime Minister, Yigalak Shinawat, came in promising to stop unjust applications of the law, you don't think that in practice she's shown any departure from the policies of the prior administration? Well, uh, of course, it would be inconceivable that she was not herself kept in the loop over these two recent prosecutions. Uh, surely the Prime Minister is supposed to have enough power to, to stop such, such abuses. Okay. What do you expect to see in the future? Well, I think that uh, if we can uh, create a more independent media that, that, in fact, I think the government will be more reluctant to, to act. Uh, it would be wonderful if, in fact, they declared the same kind of amnesty for our 600 political prisoners that uh, they would like to declare for, for Hun uh, Yingluck's brother. Thanks so much, CJ. We really appreciate your comments. CJ Hinkie is a founder of Freedom Against Censorship Thailand, and you can read his posts at Global Voices Online. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.